Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we're going to take a look at an LED pod light. I bought this light off eBay for less than $5. This one has a blue angel eye, which in this case is square. It's available in both square and circular. It's rated at 20 watts. 2,000 lumens, and runs on 12 to 80 volts DC. This assembly was very inexpensive. Like I said, it was under $5, and as proof, it actually is missing hardware. We have the mounting bracket and bracket mounting bolt, uh, lock washer, and nut and the cross bolt that goes through the bracket through the body of the uh, pod light and then back through the other side of the bracket another lock washer and no nut this hardware down here was what holds it together i already started taking it apart to save time but before we disassemble Let's turn on the power and see what it looks like. Let's separate out the red wire. Uh, we get three wires, a ground wire, a power for the angel eye, and a power for the main light. There's the blue angel eye. See, we're drawing about 0.1 amps. It's a decently pretty light. When we turn on the white light, it jumps up one amp and is very bright when pointed directly at you. You can see the beam pattern is very narrow with a crisp cutoff line to keep light out of oncoming driver's eyes. Shut that off. Now to take it apart. Like I said, I already undid some of the hardware, so we can remove the plastic faceplate, and we have a large clear shield. This is actually what does the sealing against this silicone membrane. Next we have this fascia. This fascia houses the angel eye. If we pop this plastic guard off, or diffuser, let's see, here is our halo. It has a great many chips, all run in series. There's no heat sinking on it, but being small chips, they likely don't produce a terrible amount of heat. Next, we remove this riser plate. Let's see if we can't get that out of the way. There we go. You can see inside this assembly, we have an awful lot going on. Looks like these cheap or inexpensive components are getting more and more complex overseas. Let's see if we can get one of these lenses out to see what it looks like. All right, you can see how the light, the LED chip, is in this pocket here, and this curve up at the top is what cuts the light and prevents it from shining up into oncoming driver's eyes. The rest of the light is bent across the full range of the bottom, and from side to side it just 
bounces between giving a full range left to right. And this is just, I uh, believe, a resin or acrylic lens. We can see down here on the board, we have two chips per set. And the board is affixed to the housing, which appears to be some sort of cast, possibly aluminum, uh, judging by the weight and sound. Uh, it's affixed to the housing by the four screws that also hold on the lens. And on the back, there is not much in the way of heat sinking, but these four chips only generate one watt of light and heat, or rather they only consume one watt of energy. As we saw in the previous, or a previous video, this panel, this entire panel, consumed one watt, and it eventually uh, overheated because it lacked heat sinking. The thermal mass of this whole housing and surface area created by just these fins is likely enough to keep these LEDs running for a long time without concern of overheating. In any case, that's all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing to the channel for more content, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I'm James the Light Guy.